Howdy. Uh, I'll talk a little today about Francis Huber and his hive. This is a uh, Huber leaf hive. Francis Huber was a blind man who discovered almost every useful thing we know about bees other than parts of Genesis. Uh, that was discovered a couple of decades later by a man named Jan Zerzon. But this is the hive he used to learn all those the marvelous things he learned, like uh, how a queen mates outside the hive, uh, what happens when the hive bees swarm, uh, a lot of details. And then later on he did another second volume um, on how they make wax and uh, how they need to breathe and how they smell and, and a whole lot of other interesting things. Um, I, took, I, I, I had uh, a friend who offered to build me a uh, Huber hive, so I took him up on it, and uh, thank you, Don. This is Don Simple's hive that he built. Um, and uh, this is the back side of it, because I wanted to start there, because I'm going to flip it around here in a minute. Uh, but Huber used this as an observation hive. We have it just set up as a hive here because we wanted to re-walk some of the footsteps of Huber by using this uh, hive and actually putting bees in it. So these are hinges here. You need to pull these pins and remove any given frame and move it to a different position in the, in the order here if you wanted to. Or you can split the hive by putting the partitions in that I'll show you in a minute. They have glass on them, but mostly you would use those to observe. So you'd open the hive up to the spot you wanted to observe, put the glass on both sides, mm -hmm. and you could sit and watch the bees. You can move the entrances, and I'll show you on the other side. By opening up uh, each of these frames, is uh, basically identical to each other. And, uh, these are all identical to each other, and each one of them has a place you can open up an entrance. So when you open it up to work on it, then the other half needs to have an entrance so they can get in and out. Um, so if you would open this up like like leaves in a page, some people call it the Huber Book Hive. Uh, it's the same concept. The idea is that these are pages in a book, and you can open it up to whatever page you want. Uh, this is really the first movable comb hive. I know Langstroth gets the credit for that, but Langstroth actually built this hive and experimented with it because of what Huber wrote uh, before he ever invented his hive. Uh, so Huber did most of his experiments between the 1780s and 1790s on uh, queens and queens mating and all that. From the 1790s to the early 1800s, he did his experiments on how wax was made. Before Huber, they believed wax was made from pollen. Um, Huber proved that it was made from nectar and not from pollen. So, anyway, we want to go through this hive and kind of show you what it looks like and give you a feel for what Huber worked with. So, you have these leaves of the book that close to the ends and close up the ends. This is uh, just a string to tie it shut, and then you just tuck a board on top for the, for the cover. So we're going to open it up and look through here. We'll call that a live smoker. We're probably going to go through this whole hive. Let me get excited on me. Thank you. 